Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you a technique to help make your urban sketches a bit more dynamic. Now I'm a self-taught artist, I learn from books, from practice and also I learn from other sketches. Now this technique is inspired by Dharman Anjur. He is an architect from Indonesia and this is his Flickr page with a lot of his sketches. I'll post a link to where you can find this page in the video description so you can check out more of his sketches but what I want to point out is a few of the sketches as example for the technique that I'm going to show you today so this sketch here let me zoom in now he likes to use a technique that tilts the vertical of the building let me put my pencil down I'm going to represent the vertical line with this red pencil here and if you look at this building here it actually tilts towards the right side and if I move my pencil around some of the other buildings they are also tilting towards the right side let me move down to the next sketch here is the same thing this building here is also tilting towards the right side and I think this is a more obvious example where the whole scene actually tilts towards the right side so um, when you have tilting lines it makes your sketches feel a bit more dynamic now this you can achieve through photographs as well so I'm going to show you some photographs that I found online this is a building this is not a very tall building this has only I think probably three floors but this was shot probably with a wide angle lens so the person is probably standing on the ground looking upwards and because of that there is a vanishing point upwards because all parallel lines they converge to a vanishing point and if you tilt your camera upwards you will start to see uh, where that vanishing point is which is somewhere around there and because of that you get all the lines they will start to converge towards that point there and that is why you get all these um, tilted lines now this is a short building let me move over this is a tall building a skyscraper same thing the person probably shot this photo from the ground level with the camera pointed upwards that's why uh, all the lines are going upwards because the vanishing point is up there somewhere and this is also a tall building these are also skyscrapers very tall office buildings or residential buildings now the difference between this photo and this photo is this photo is probably shot from a very far distance and the person did not tilt the angle did not tilt the camera upwards and because he did not tilt the camera upwards the front of the lens is actually parallel to the front of the buildings that's why um, you don't see any uh, tilting vertical lines so that's why and for this this photo same thing the person is standing on the ground level shooting forward without tilting the camera upwards so without tilting the camera upwards the lines the vertical lines they are going to appear vertical so what does this tell us if you want tilting lines you have to point your camera upwards and when you're sketching if you want tilting lines um, that will give you an impression if you draw tilting lines in your sketches that will give you an impression as if you are looking upwards so um, that will be our technique today let me show you the reference photo I'm going to use today this is our some sort of building I think it's Fergus post office I don't know where it is that's the name of this building um, this building has vertical lines because the person shot uh, this photo from afar and did not tilt the camera upwards so we have vertical lines they are very vertical and now I'm going to reproduce this sketch um, by tilting the vertical lines while drawing I will still pay attention to the proportion so that it will still look like this building but all the vertical lines I'm going to tilt them uh, some way or another I'm going to put this reference photo on the left side and draw here on the right side 
later on after I finish I will compare my sketch to another sketch that I've drawn earlier on without tilting the vertical lines so now I'm going to tilt the lines before I start drawing I want to pick a place to place a vertical line because not all lines are going to tilt there will be one line that's not going to tilt and I'm going to choose this line here this line here and all the lines that are on the left side they are going to tilt towards this line here and all the lines that are on the right side they are going to tilt towards um, towards this vertical line here and this line happens to be the longest line in the building so let me just draw that down first I also want to measure the height of this building to the width of this building so this is like a square so this is let me see so it probably is going to end here somewhere I put a dot here okay and this is the building so this is this part here I'm just going to draw it very casually this exercise is about tilting lines so I'm not going to be too um, careful with the accuracy but I do want to get their perspective relatively correct okay now this is where I start to draw the edge the left edge here so uh, I'm not going to draw it vertically I'm going to tilt it to uh, an angle so I'm going to draw this angle here so you can see here that this angle is tilted a bit and this line here I'm going to tilt it a bit as well and for the lines that are going to the left side the vanish left vanishing point and the right vanishing point I will keep those angles as they are I will not change them so this will be like this like this like this you can see my lines they are quite they are not very straight the drawing is a bit loose now I'm going to draw this line here now this top of the roof this will come from below the clock let me draw in the clock face so this point here is the start of the roof it comes down here and it moves to the right side at an angle and let me measure this angle here it's like this so let me move down like this this point here is below the roof somewhere around here so I want to draw that and this is the edge of this building this line here so for this edge here actually let me zoom in a bit closer okay for this edge here because this line here is further away from the vertical line it is going to tilt a bit more so uh, I will draw that in like this and this line here seems to be at the bottom of the window so it's going to come down slightly here okay and this is going to be a tilted line as well now I'm going to draw this line here so this line goes up so this right side here is tilted and this right side here in the photo this is actually perfectly vertical so I tilted that line move down and there's this chimney so this chimney is also a bit tilted okay so now that I have drawn the general shape of the building I can go in to fill in the windows the doors the staircase the branches and perhaps some of the lamps and street lights so I'm just going to time lapse this uh, section here
have completed this sketch by adding in the other details like the doors, the windows, the foliage, some of the street lamps. Let's um, look at where that vertical line is. This is where that line is. So all the other vertical lines in my sketch, they are going to tilt towards this line. So this line here on the left side, it tilts to this direction. And all the lines on the right side here, they tilts towards um, this direction. So uh, when you're making a sketch, you should choose a place to place your vertical line and then move all the other lines towards tilt all the other lines towards that line. And the further away all the other vertical lines are, for example, I mean this building could have extended all the way to this side here and there could be a vertical line here. And if you are going to tilt it towards this line here, um, it's going to tilt at a very sharp angle like um, it's going to tilt more maybe 45 degrees or something um, generally speaking we don't draw buildings that tilt too much because it's going to look very weird and also because it's going to look weird it's going to not going to look that convincing so when we are drawing we try to fit um, the buildings onto the page and make sure that the lines they tilt a bit but they do not tilt so much so you have to find a way to compose your image in such a way that um, the lines behave um, within that constraint so this is the sketch with tilted lines let me show you another sketch that I've drawn without the tilted lines that means I've drawn it all with vertical lines and this is the sketch with only vertical lines so this is vertical same as this 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 and this and let me put this up here so that you can compare these two sketches I'm not sure which one you like better personally for me I find this sketch here to be a bit more dynamic because um, all the lines they are sort of at an angle yeah even the horizontal lines they go towards the vanishing point so actually all the horizontal lines they are at an angle except for the eye level line which is around here so all the lines that are on this eye level here they should be straight but otherwise all the lines here they are at an angle except for this vertical line so it's a bit more dynamic looking compared to this uh, sketch here which has all the vertical lines vertical and all the horizontal lines they are tilted towards the vanishing point i will post a link to these two sketches online so that you can see the differences and you can compare uh, which sketch you like better and of course you can try this out at home that's all for today's video tutorial I don't think this is a very difficult technique to use because this technique only makes minor adjustment to your sketch to make it more dynamic but if you have any questions do feel free to post them in the comment section below when you're drawing make sure to pay attention to the proportion as well proportion is very important because that is going to make your sketch look like your subject so things like where the window is in relation to the door where the door is in relation to their building although all those things are very important uh, yeah so remember to check out the links in the video description and thanks for watching um, see you in the next video remember to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so for more sketching tips and tutorials bye